now at last. On this world, vengeance shall be mine. Orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. Getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Minsk. Forget Minsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us! Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. 
I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up, and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. Begin your sweep. Find Kerrigan. Bravo team, acknowledge. Hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads three through nine. Hull breach. Frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver Delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. Shields at thirty. Failure imminent. Multiple Dominion fleet. This is Hyperion. Cease fire! Crown Prince Valerian is aboard! My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the Queen. We have to jump now! We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Sarah! We need to work together! Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Scanning. 
detecting Dominion forces and a Zerg hive cluster. Yeah, there must be an old hive here. I'm more worried about the Dominion. Ground team, this is Fleet. What is your status? Fleet, our base is set up and the track of Pulse Cannon is almost online. Roger that. Eliminate all stragglers as they warp to these coordinates. We'll return for you. Fleet out. That cannon will take out Jim's ship as soon as he enters orbit. He'll never see it coming. Set course for the Zerg Hive Cluster. I need an army. I can sense a mind controlling this brood. Who are you? My queen, I am Nakjul, a brood mother. You created us to extend your control of the swarm. Have you returned to us? I'm not your queen and I haven't returned. But I need your brood to destroy the Terran cannon right now. Most of my brood is with me. I can send them to you, but it will take time. Then send them. When they arrive, we'll tear down that cannon before Jim gets here. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare this hive for combat. The Dominion would have tracked my ship and they'll be looking for me. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous, it's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Jim Raynor was captured in a daring raid yesterday. He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Eber Mengsk had this to say. Proud Dominion citizens, at long last our nightmare is over. The lawless terrorist James Raynor is dead. With his death comes a new era of peace. The Protoss have retreated from our Dominion, and the Zerg threat has been removed. Their swarm is shattered and leaderless. Soon, we will eradicate every last Zerg on Char. In short, we have won. Our peace and security is assured. Good night, my faithful subjects. Mengsk. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed. That's why I'm here. They'll either accept me as their queen, or I'll start killing them one by one until they do.
What are you? I am Isha. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. Do you not remember? Yes. I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the Swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The Swarm is in disarray and will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Char are under the command of Broodmother Zagara. She seeks to create her own Swarm. While she lives, the Swarm will be divided. Not for long it won't. Take us down to the surface. Tell me about this Leviathan. It is the organism from which you command the Swarm, and this is its nerve center. And it can take me to any world I wish? Of course, my queen, but our numbers are few. Before conquering other worlds, you may wish to reclaim your forces here on Char. Leave the strategy to me. Now, what else can I do on this Leviathan? You can evolve and upgrade your swarm in the Evolution Pit. The creature Abathur can help you. The Dominion sure made themselves at home while I was gone. Once I've reclaimed my forces, General Warfield is getting evicted. What are you? Abathur, Evolve Swarm, Spin Strands and Sequences. Served Overmind, then served Queen of Blades. Now serve you. I am the Queen of Blades. Mm, different. Examining genetic strands, Queen of Blades was efficient. Ancient Zerg qualities. Minor Terran influence. You, infected with more Terran matter. Grasper limb poorly designed. Can improve. We'll give it back better. Don't touch me. Only focus is evolving the swarm. Seek perfection in all things. Work in Evolution Pit. Can review my work here. Evolved Zerglings much more efficient in battle. Did the Broodmother Zagara try to take you with her? No, not powerful enough to command me. Only you. If she lacks that power, how did she think she could command the swarm? Adaptation. Place herself in situation where only option, evolution, force change on herself. So she may have evolved into something much more dangerous. That will make things interesting. One of your brood mothers, Zagara, refuses to acknowledge that you are the Queen of Blades. Before you can reclaim Char from the Terrans, you will need to bring her brood back into the fold. Zagara's brood is currently huddled in Char's Acid Marsh, where you stored millions of eggs for future use. From the location of her hive cluster, it appears Zagara intends to gather as many eggs as she can. She's trying to build an army, but how will she hatch the eggs? She can place them in a birthing pond to quicken. I have located our hive cluster near one such pond. Then I'll collect enough eggs to spawn an army and destroy Zagara. Zagara is here to serve your will. Tell me, Zagara. How would you drive the Terrans from this world? I would.
would obliterate their fortress on the Dauntless Plateau. But the only way to reach it is through the Bone Trench. Be warned. The Terrans flooded our tunnels with lava. We will be exposed on the surface until we reach the Plateau. That doesn't concern me. Warfield has no idea what he's up against. But what of the Zelnaga artifact? Could the Terrans still possess it? They might, but I know it's not here on Char. It's no threat to us. What is that sound? Failed experiments. Reverting to biomass. Slow process. At least put them out of their misery first. Wasted effort. Creatures will die soon. Pain irrelevant. When you say things like that, Abathur, I almost remember you. And I feel... anger. Anger product of adrenaline. Stress response. Imminent threat. No threat to you. No anger. I'll be the judge of that. Isha, all around me I see signs of the old Queen of Blades. But I can't remember why I held my forces here on Char for so long. You were studying the future, planning for a great war. What war? Explain. You never told us. You only said that you had seen a vision of our extinction, and you wanted us to fight to the last. I don't remember that. At all. Do you know why I beat you in battle? You are stronger than I. No. Faster than? No. Do not toy with me, my queen. Tell me your secret. Talk to Abathur in the Evolution Pit. He will tell me? He will change you. Go. The swarm is growing again. Now for you, Warfield. Reclaiming this world will send a message to your Emperor. I'm coming for him. Tell me about the changes you made to Zagara. Brood Mother template already allowed complex problem solving, learning, ability to command broods, multiple focuses. Now added muscle density, expanded brain matter, now able to hypothesize multiple scenarios. Cognitive flexibility. Perhaps I should add this to all future brood mothers. Extraneous brain matter deemed unnecessary for brood mother role in swarm. Extra matter requires extra energy. Also needs to increase independence. This contradicts imperative. Zerg must present no danger to leader of swarm. Times are changing. I want my minions as dangerous as possible. To reach the Dauntless Plateau, we must move the swarm through the Bone Trench. The Terrans will bring everything they have against us. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. I tried to bring my brood through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died, along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. Wait, those are scourge nests. They could bring down a Gorgon. We just need to reawaken them. My queen, we should simply race through the trench, not waste time fighting Gorgons. If we surprise the Terrans, we can make it through with acceptable losses. And if we don't, the swarm dies. You need to learn vision, Zagara. Planning, calculation, cunning. We can use this creep tumor to spawn a tumor near the Scourge Nest. Once it's awake, Warfield's Gorgon is done for.
I feel my queen's hatred burning like a star. But there is something underneath it I do not understand. It's pain, Isha. Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from memories. Of an enemy who damaged you? No. Memories of better times. Of a friend now lost. New discovery. Large-scale improvement to Zergling sequences. What kind of improvement? Answer complex. Can branch evolution of fully evolved Zergling form two new strains? Then add them to the swarm, Abathur. Strains mutually exclusive will compete in sequence. One must be chosen. Other must be discarded. Fine. Make some of each. I want to see them in action. We'll set up tests for both. Initiate from Evolution Pit. I'm going to look into your memories and find out why I feel so angry when I see you. Memories not important. Distractions. I see it in your mind. You designed the Queen of Blades. Your limbs wrapped me in the chrysalis. Weak and soft. Broke bones, tore flesh, improved you. If you weren't important to my plans, you'd be dead right now. Unclear. Isha, when the Queen of Blades... When I commanded the Swarm here on Char, what was I like? You were mighty. You made us cunning and strong. And we knew we would survive forever under you. And now? Now nothing is clear, but the swarm will continue. If you die, we will serve another leader. I am the leader of the swarm, and if I die, so do all of you. Remember it. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand Vision. I will go. I don't need to read Warfield's mind to know what he's planning for me. He has no idea what he's up against. To rule Char once again, we must destroy the Terran Fortress. They will fight with everything they have. We need only your command, my queen. We've reached the Terran Fortress. They're dug in and ready for us. There is no room for subtlety here. We will go after them wherever they are, and overwhelm them. Prepare for nuclear launch! I want the only thing left of these bugs to be glowing corpses! General Warfield is activating his nuclear arsenal. We have to move fast. Zagara, you set up a hive cluster while I take this wave and do as much damage as I can. Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. They're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll get out another way. <laughs> Listen to me. 
I have three shuttles packed with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> Bitch, you're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <clears throat> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? Oh, no! There's no turning back now. I do not understand. The Terrans will never forgive what I'm doing here. If my becoming human again eased their fears, well, I've given them new reasons to be afraid. But I'm not going to wait for them to come after me. I'll strike first. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh, see only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving. Can chase, cannot catch. <laughs> You certainly have your uses. Char is ours, once again. Our enemies should fear us. We still have a long way to go. We are numberless, we are relentless, and we are evolving. We are also done on Char. I will decide on our next destination soon. Listen well, Zagara. Someday you might rule the swarm. If you think you can take it now, make your move. But the next time we fight, it is to the death. All or nothing. I will serve you and learn from you. And perhaps someday, I will lead the swarm. But not today. And what lesson did I teach you? Vision, my queen. You taught me vision. The swarm is powerful, but power is not enough for its leader. I defeated Warfield not through numbers or strength. I simply possessed vision, and he did not. I will remember it, my queen. Kerrigan, 
I have been to the beginning. Behold, Zeras, birthplace of the Zerg. Here the Zerg evolved, and here the Dark One altered them. Those left behind are the Primal Zerg. Nafash, a broodmother, took part of the swarm to the frozen moon Calder, where she is fighting a Protoss expedition. Nafash's brood had many highly evolved creatures. To reunite the swarm, you will need those adaptations. suffering on this moon. I thought you'd made my Zerg stronger than this. Calder as cold as deep space. Other than Leviathan, no reason to specialize swarm for such cold. Is that an excuse? Wasteful to spin unnecessary adaptations. Complexity, bad. Not needed before. Needed now. We'll look for local fauna. Essence useful for swarm adaptation. Do it. I cannot detect the Dark Templar. Is he hidden on the Leviathan, waiting to strike? He's gone. Whatever agenda he's pursuing, he's not a threat to me. Not right now, at least. Isn't anything not Zerg a threat to us? Do not question me, Isha. As you say, my queen. You have said you wish revenge on the leader of the Terrans, but there are no Terrans on this moon. Nafasha's brood has valuable adaptations. I need them to strengthen the swarm so that I can take down Minsk. Surely my brood alone could defeat his forces. Terrans are weak. Isn't that what you thought about me? The scouts report that Nafash set up a hive on this plane, but abandoned it shortly after. She moved off into those ice valleys. That must be where the Protoss are. Nafash moved her brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. This moon has pockets of intense cold, called flash freeze storms. One such storm is approaching. It will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost. The storm will pass quickly, but while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her.
When I was my old self, did I ever give you humans to experiment on? Yes, very bad. Primitive structures, minimal biological adaptability. You know I was Terran. Rare Terran individuals, high psionic potential, overcome flawed origins. From now on, we won't be doing any more experiments on humans. Am pleased to know it. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes, and if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end, we are both killers. The swarm adapts. The swarm thrives. I have always wished to feel Brutus bones snapping in my claws. May I? No, Zagara. Surely you do not think to show mercy? Violence is a tool. I use it when I have to, but a leader uses the right tool for the job. This is a Terran way to think. The Zerg do not use tools at all. To a leader, everything and everybody is a tool. Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful, and tenacious. But she made one mistake. She ran away. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. The Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuris! If a single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuris to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's Hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Hydralisk reconstituted can morph from lava. I need more Hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. You do not have to do this. You could leave. Be away from this moon before the Golden Armada arrives. I can't run. I know that now. My enemies will never stop coming for me. All I can do is fight. Then there will never be peace. <laughs> peace? Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship they used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. I am learning from you, my queen. You are here to strengthen your swarm for the fight ahead. There is no other creature like you in the swarm. Where did your essence come from? The Overmind spun me from many species, a brood of one. What did you do after the Overmind died? Wandered the tunnels of Char without purpose. Feral. Queen of Blades found me, made me Zerg again. You aren't Zerg, unless you're under someone's control? Without overriding will, am beast less. The Protoss have launched a vessel from the dark side of Calder. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. 
One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. It is done. The Golden Armada will never know we were here. I am glad that Protoss is no longer aboard our Leviathan. Her psionic presence was disturbing. She died bravely, trying to save her friends. Why do you care how the Protoss died? I will kill anyone in my way. That doesn't mean I enjoy it. Even Arcturus Mengsk, my queen? Will his death bring you no joy? Stop talking, Isha. Placed Parasite into Protoss' host. Yes. What about it? Clever. Lateral thinking. Protoss not able to be infested, but can still be host to foreign organism. Origins of Parasite unknown. I made it, Abathur. You're not the only one who can spin sequences. Revelation. We'll continue work. Zerus. Earthworld of the Zerg. It lies far beyond the Caprulu Sector, where no Terran has ventured. You must go to that ancient place, Kerrigan. Learn its secrets, and take its power. Zerus called you here. My need to see Menx dead called me here. These Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. What do you think of the Primal Zerg? Dynamic. Varied. Interesting. Messy. Unsuccessful. I thought you'd like them. As individuals, they constantly evolve to be more efficient killers. Primal Zerg. Reactionary. Improvised. Some good sequences. Can steal. Swarm. Efficient. Careful improvements. Successful. I'm looking through the eyes of my overlords. These primal zerg are fascinating. They show no signs of age. All organisms age, even zerg. But the primals feed off the essence of individuals. They're in a state of constant evolution. They don't die. Until they are killed by another primal. True. 
The most successful hunters among them must be incredibly ancient and incredibly dangerous. Why are you helping me, Zaratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good, though it earns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people and accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. I guess your day is almost here. We came from this place? The Zerg first evolved here, yes. I do not like it. A soft world. Char is far superior. Don't be so sure. Zerus may prove more dangerous than any world we've known. The Primal Zerg are disturbed by our presence. They gather even now, preparing to destroy us. I sense something. An ancient consciousness. Sleeping. Mm. The Ancient One. A primal Zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it, don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zerus, you will need the Ancient One. My Queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path, and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. So this is the Ancient One. To awaken this creature, we must feed it. There's a lot of biomass here. We'll kill these Quilgore and have drones harvest meat from their corpses. Once the drone is done harvesting, it will drag the biomass to the Ancient. Rat speech now! You intrude on my territory, corrupt sir. We will devour your flesh. Warning. A force of primal Zerg flyers is preparing to assault the hive cluster. Futurists reconstituted. Ready for your armies. You destroy primal guardians. Primal Zerg forces are massing nearby. They are likely to attack again. Let them try. for the power of Zerus. I will sacrifice anything to achieve my goal. You will help me. Your swarm bears the mark of Amon, the fallen Zernaga who came to Zerus long ago. He forged the Zerg into a weapon and took them away. Yet, some of us were hidden, overlooked. We multiplied. We remain pure. If you seek our power, you must become Primal Zerg. You must become pure. Primal Zerg. Unacceptable. Must be wiped clean. No trace left. Destroy Primal Zerg. What are you talking about? Saw ranged primal zerg creatures on battlefield. 
Based on Hydralisk. Primal Zerg stole design from Swarm. Swarm on planet for hours, days, already being replicated. Abathur, are you upset? Unacceptable. Swarm's power, ability to assimilate strengths. Primal Zerg must not take from us. Don't worry about it. They'll be on our side before I'm done here. My queen, why did we wake the Ancient One? Its power outstrips even yours. The Ancient One is key to unlocking the power of Xerus, and I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Raynor came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha, is that sometimes you lose. Zerg say the swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Amon do to us? He desired our strength, the ability to steal essence. But we were independent. We would not follow. And so he bound the Zerg to a single overriding will. They lost their identity and became his slaves. The hive mind. That's Amon's corruption? It is. And a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg. 